So we go and quickly fix the skills view page with all the errors that it's in there. So we'll go to skills and then we'll click on view. So first of all, we just every occurrence of book, we we'll change it to skill. That will quickly knock out all the errors first of all. So we can refresh and then we come back and fix all the other minor details. As you can see, the, skill, the, the errors are out, but then we're not seeing anything because we are calling the wrong fields. For instance, it's not skill title, skill dot name, and then we don't have first name and last name and stuff. Um, what we can do is to remove this. Okay, and um, the skill body is basically the description, the description of the skill. And uh, okay, the rest is basically. Okay, we don't have a skill user ID. So this check here is irrelevant. It's basically saying only the admin can edit the skill. Good. But um, this is the way we check it. And like we did in the other part, we check whether the, the skill exists at all. And if it exists, uh, it should be less than 3. Okay. There's a way you can do yours. You can just say if it is greater than 0, and less than three all right we're good to go so we'll go and refresh we should now see the scale we clicked which is the first one should be php all right php exists now and there's no description for it which means if we go to our database and add a description for php we can just add a description a web programming language we hit enter and there we are as you can see the description so what I'm going to do is to add the URL at the bottom here and then we're good to go or I can just leave it you just add the URL by yourself so I'm just gonna do a Okay, I'm just gonna do a h a href for the URL and then right here I'm just gonna do this and say skill.url shows up here. So we can say website. view official official website cool so this basically sorts out our this but we have to check whether it exists first so we're just gonna do the same if statements type of thingy so we'll just do oops so we'll do if this guy exists at all then show this then we can end if we can say and if I hope by now you already ha have a grip of uh, how we run things here so um, there's an error obviously on line 28 so I'm just gonna go to line 28 and fix it because we have these two instead of here so this basically sorts out our skills then we need to list skills here all right so I'm just gonna go and hijack the media get component media components just to list the skills we as and we're going to list users that have the skills so we can just say underneath here just a list of users that have the skill so h3 So we're going to put a list here, so I'm just going to call it for, it's a block, and for. So what we're going to put inside will emerge very soon. So 
So, but let's just get the basics of what we want first. And then uh, if we go to this, we'll just look for media queries on getbootstrap.com. Media object. And uh, we look for want list of users to look something close to this. So we can just copy this guy. to our code now we've pasted we're going to go to our model so quickly let me refresh your memory on what we did two three videos ago where we went to the model we created an intermediate model which it will call skill user then which joins skills and um, users all right so we are on the skills uh, view page now. So if we go to skill model, we'll notice that at the bottom of at this bottom we specified something. We told it that it belongs to many users, and then it has two other options: descriptions and URL. All right. So from there, if we just do skill users, we will have access to all the users that belong to this skill automatically. Rock PHP makes it easy that way. So if we go here, we can just say that. Just declare a variable user for instance in then we can say skill dot users so with something like this we already have access to all users so this for loop will just look through all users so we can start printing their details we can say this is their name and then we can print other details about this user which is first name we can say last name last name we can also convert this to uh, a URL First of all, let's see it. If we go here and we refresh, you'll notice that although we have, we are right, but there is no user listed here because there's no user under this particular skill PHP. If we go to a database, we'll see that under, um, let's go to the skills table, we'll go to skills, browse it, that PHP is the first one that is skill with the id of number one so if we now go to skill user which is the join table we'll see that there is no user with the skill id of one that's why we, we don't have any user listed so what we're gonna do is to actually look for the one that has a user listed for instance six there's a skill id of six that has a user user number 10 has skill id of six so if we change the id here to six we should have at least one user listed here as you can see condoleezza bean so what i'm going to do is to quickly convert this to a link and then we are through with this particular video so you already know how to do it you just do an a href href and then we close here then we um, wrap it up with a here and then inside the href we are going to do a, a nice stuff about um the way we normally do it, we'll do path four, and then that path four, we're gonna tell it where to go. It's going to go to users dot view, and then the parameter it will have is going to be an ID. So that ID as a parameter, and the value of that ID is user dot ID. So we're good to go. So if we go and then of course this uh, three dots, we can remove these three dots and we'll refresh as you can see it's now a link so when some people are viewing a skill they can view the details of a skill and then they can view the users that have this skill all right so one more thing you can do is to check whether this this um, thing actually exists then print out an error showing that now it doesn't exist so i'm going to remove this alt so it stops showing three dots because we don't have an image yet we our users have not started uploading the image. I'm just going to leave this here as a dummy of stuff. Just comment it out. When we can upload images, we can enable them. So one more time, we'll refresh just to be sure that everything we did is working. Cool. So if we click here, we head right back to the profile of the user, which is great. All right, see you in the next video.